Hey, what's up you guys? It's Elijah Harmon here today and uh, I have some code to show you that uh, will be, you can download it, it will be linked in the description below, but it, I basically wrote this code for a personal project of mine and it will take the GPS data that's inside of a photo and convert it to the longitude and latitude um, coordinates that, that you will need if you're using a Google Maps API, for example. Um, so first part of this code right here is just printing all the metadata that's what you see right here so this is all the metadata for the photo and uh, just a little disclaimer here uh, GPS stamping will only be on photos that were taken on a GPS enabled device and also you had GPS uh, stamping checked on your phone or your camera or whatever you're using you have to basically have all those steps covered first but once you actually take a GPS stamped um, photo, you will get the correct uh, information you will need to run this code. So right here I have the file uh, with the stamping and it's just being ran through this uh, function and being outputted right here to the screen that you can see. Below is me parsing through the data and getting the um, data that I need. For example, here's the GPS longitude data and you can see it's kind of in a weird format that's not really uh, the longitude that we need so uh, that's what this whole you know video is about um, how photos actually store is they store it on degrees second I mean minutes and then this part is for seconds uh, it's just a different way of um, logging a GPS coordinates so right here I have the math for uh, translating all of that so your degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, I'm using this eval command, which will take a string and evaluate it if there's a math equation in it. And all of these are basically math equations you have to do to get the actual uh, degree here. You have to do 87 divided by 1, which is 87. This one is 16 divided by 1, which is 16. And this one is uh, 550, uh, 588,000 uh, divided by um, 10,000 and that will give you the actual uh, the actual uh, coordinate that you need um, so that's what this is doing and right here since this is the minute section you have to divide uh, 60 minutes uh, to get one hour or I guess one degree so that's why we have a 60 here um, and then right here is 300 or 3,600 seconds and you have to use this number because it's there's 3,600 seconds in uh, one degree so that's that's why you know, I'm using this number here uh, I also got this this uh, math from the Wikipedia page and it showed me how to convert um, the minutes and seconds over to the actual uh, GPS data that you can use um, and I have double checked all this so it it is correct I know some people are skeptical skeptical about Wikipedia so below that is uh, me looking uh, the code is looking at uh, whether it was north or south and depending if it was north or south it will make the number positive or negative right here for your uh, longitude we're evaluating if it's east or west and it will make it um, make it positive or negative depending on that and right here is finishing up the coordinates so basically we're adding all the uh, degrees minutes and seconds together and then we're making it you know uh, positive or not and there's your actual coordinate and it prints it out here so um, I have double checked this these this works flawlessly perfectly uh, Mac computers uh, will show you the actual longitude and latitude of photos if you look at the details of them uh, Windows computers will not they'll give you this array so I've double checked all this math and everything uh, with my Macintosh computer also and it it goes through perfectly so but uh, like I said before the code will be uh, linked in the bottom it, it will be going to my github so you can download it off there and if you have any questions comments concerns you can uh, just go ahead and uh, set, send me a, a comment below the video and uh, I'll try to respond to everyone alright thank you very much for watching this video and uh, have a nice day